Hi everyone, welcome to the Doge Academy. And I'm here to introduce you to our new training, Spring Boot to Essentials. This training was created for backend developers that are already familiar with object orientation and the web architecture in general. So if you have a little knowledge about how Spring works, it will help during this training, but they are not required. So what is included in this training? Well, we are going to start working with what we have behind the scenes. And then we are going to see how the component auto-wired and Spring Boot application works. Then we will see the hot swap because it will make our life easier when we are developing. Then we will do the setup with Spring Initializer. Then we will uh, understand how the get works. And we have two parts for that. Then we will see how the post works. So we are going to work with some basic HTTP protocols, get, post, delete, and put. And then we are going to see how to work with Spring Data JPA. So we have two different parts here. And then we proceed to request params. So after request params, we will see how we handle exceptions in our APIs. Since this is a huge topic, we will have different parts of handling exception. And then we will see how to work with paging and sorting in Spring. So Spring makes our life really easy when we have to work with paging and sorting. So we have uh, two different parts. Um, actually, we have three parts because the third part is sorting. And then we will see how to work with REST template. And REST templates is a web client that will allow us to execute requests to different sources. And then we will see how to work with different parts of the REST template. We have exchange, and then we will have to fix uh, our requests to add the pageable response. We will see how to execute post request, put, and also delete. So basically everything that we have been doing to expose our endpoints, we are going to also consume these endpoints with REST template. And then we will work with tests. So we have different types of tests. We will start with Spring Data JPA test. We are going to test our, our repositories. And then we are going to unit test the controller. We are going to unit test the service that we are creating. And of course, we are going to work with integration tests. And we are going to work with a Maven profile to have our integration tests in a separate uh, profile to run every time we are deploying our CI environment. And then we are going to work with Spring Security, it's another huge topic. So this is just scratching the surface. We will see how to work with in-memory authentication, CSRF and pre-authorize, authentication principle and the, the following page provided by Spring, authentication and authorization with Spring Data GPA. So starting with uh, video 35, we are going to connect to a database to authenticate the, the user. And then we are going to see how to secure the URLs through and measures and of course we will have to update the integration tests that we created previously to add the basic authorization that we have been working so far so these are all the trainings that we have available for you in this playlist i hope you enjoy if you see any video after the spring boot essentials 37 this is uh, something extra that i'm adding to this playlist so far this is everything that i have uh, done and i hope you enjoy so it's time for us to get down to code. So see you in a minute.